Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were told by the Toy Mafia that in order to join the Toy Mafia, we need to do these jobs. And in fact, we have done these jobs. With the exception that we still have to finish retrieving the sandwich that was stolen from this machine over here. The original meatball sandwich is gone. I didn't do it! Apparently, the solution is that the meatball sandwich is inside here, and in order to make sure nobody can grab it, the one arm belonging to the one arm bandit was stolen as well. It's a shame that I didn't notice that it was missing when I first uh, got the jobs. I would have actually checked it out and um, checked it out. Well, I can go ahead and check it out now, anyway. Hey, the one-armed bandit's one arm is missing. Stolen by a bandit, perhaps? Well, that, there we go with that. Also, hold on a sec, I forgot to do one little thing. Okay, I have done that one little thing. Let's go ahead and put this back and get the meatball sub back. Presto, a non-armed bandit no longer. Watch the uh, icons on the machine here actually be a sub now. A one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. Oh, right. Gotta do that. You're on fire. Success. Here's the meatball sandwich. Should we taste it to make sure? Sweet Tomain. No. <laughs> Did that thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. I'll have it serviced. On the plus side, we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. And what a pungent piece of sculpture it is! I'm surprised we couldn't smell it from downtown. Let me see that. Hmm. Yes, that's definitely the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. You've done well, boys. Follow me to the back room. There's a little initiation ceremony. We're getting our pristine navels groped by pristine naval officers again? Shut your ultra-wide trap and follow me. Sam, Max, you have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. And we welcome you into the ranks of the Orso Nostra. Neat. My stuff runneth over. There's a small ritual with the ceremonial picnic baskets, and then a few other technicalities, and then Joey will show up with some cold cuts. But first, as a sign of respect, I will remove my mask. Which is good, because I can barely talk through this stupid thing. Huh. That's better. Man alive, do I schwitz in that getup. Holy fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we... I mean, uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot! These guys are freelance police! Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. He's right, Max. We still haven't realized that. Oops. <laughs> Wait, so I get that the mole turned traitor, presumably for the wealth and power that the toy mafia could offer, but what happened to the previous teddy bear? Or teddy bears. For all we know, the original teddy bear choked on his own meatball sandwich back in 65. Yes, good point. Should we run now? Perhaps so. Get them! Head for the car, little buddy. And suddenly, uh, people were standing in their default positions. Okay. Sam, I couldn't help but notice that a number of bloodthirsty gangsters are right on our tail. Eat lead, coppers. Yes, I saw that. What's worse, they've got those new bulletproof tires from Crime Mart. Only modern technology can horribly, horribly arrive. So... Hmm. I was right about the, uh, Mole being the mob boss, but I did not consider the possibility of him being traitor. So... Chase sequence. Neat. Oh, oh, wait, there was a ramp there. I kind of wanted it. <laughs> no dice. That would hardly be sporting. No can do. No dice. 
Hmm. Betting it has to do with the, with the ramps. It's a good thing they got bad aim. You can't necessarily lose in these point-and-click adventure games. Not usually, anyway. What was that down there? Take another look at that. Whatever is down there is gross. Though, by the way, I was completely right as well about the game progressing forward as soon as we got the meatball sub, so I'm glad I ended that episode stream when I did. Okay, I'm gonna... Well, let's, let's move, uh, look my mouse around and see if anything pops up that is appearing to be clickable. No? Maybe not. There we go. Is that all of them? All but one. Teddy Bear himself. Let's go take down that fat little fraud once and for all. Good idea. Hold on, little buddy. Hey! Hey, the dawn is gone. Well, now's our chance to find out just what that traitorous mole bear is planning. You know, without that menacing mumble, he doesn't seem capable of planning brunch, much less a dastardly master plan. Agreed. But in my experience, there's always something interesting behind any door that says, do not enter under pain of death. He's got a bunch of maps in here, with what looks like truck routes going all over the country. Interesting. But it probably doesn't mean anything. Unless it involves them delivering that hypnosis bear everywhere. What do you think we should do? That back door looks rather inviting. Huh, we didn't get a choice of options with Max at time. Hmm. Apparently Teddy Bear keeps the details of his operation elsewhere. This gobbledygook's best left to the freelance accountants. A gangster needs a little privacy when he changes bear heads. Note, objects in mirror may not be a reflection of any person, living or dead. Go, go, no, no, go back over there. I want to see if anything is written in the reflection. A little further. Huh, doesn't seem to be anything. What is written on this board, anyway? Extortion... Employment... HR development... HR facilities... Information technology... Payroll... Health and safety... Universal police... Telecommunications... Or university police telecommunications? Land management supply... Store... Transportation, services, university, prior, pri printing? Printing, I think. Commit, con, this is getting kind of hard to read here. Probably not even going to be able to read anything over here because the camera gets too far away. Yeah, let's uh, move on and see if there's anything elsewhere. What's a dangerous crime outfit without readily available liquor? It's too bad that they don't get drunk. I feel like something like the Mafia would be easier to deal with if they got drunk. I can see all kinds of unimportant stuff on these. Do not enter under pain of death. Signed, Don Ted E. Bear. Not much keeping us from going back there now, is there? Nope. Alright. Here we go. Hey, there's a whole bear-making factory back here. 
You mean, the respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? Huh, scandalized! You two, you're back! Inconceivable! But come no closer! I know how to use both of these! I'll be honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed! More fool you, then! And this hypno-bear will make you my willing slaves! <laughs> You can do the factory work now that you've rid me of my inept underlings! Look! Look at the Hypno-Bear! Whatever Daddy Bear said. Don't you feel... sleepy? Don't we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from it. I asked you a question, slaves! Yes, Master. So sleepy. What he said. Really? Seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. Oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Excuse me, master. Shoot your friend! I command it! This blows. <laughs> um... Oh, when did we get this? Well, we're, we're gonna try the other thing first, of course. Although we can look at other stuff, can't we? Let's look at other stuff first. I think it's not working. I better try it again. Whatever Teddy Bear said. Yes, Master. Now shoot your friend! I feel like we're not actually gonna be able to do anything else here. But I'll try one more thing. I think it's not working. Better try it again. Whatever Teddy Bear said. Yes, Master. Now shoot your friend. Okay, um we're gonna have to actually do some shooting here. Well we got the cap gun, but gotta see what happens if we just use the big gun. Can't really shoot it, can I? I think it's not working. I better try it again. Whatever Teddy Bear said. Yes, Master. Now shoot your friend. I wonder if this is the boss fight. Could we already be at the end of the mole, the mob, and the meatball? And if if so, I made good progress in this one. I obey. Mother of mercy, is this the end of little Maxi? Oh, death, where is that guy, Sting? Very oh, the pain, the pain, and only two days to retirement. You gotta promise to Timo the Dukes of Hazard for me. Promise me! Okay, so cowards die a thousand deaths. <laughs> well, heroes die but once, unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, fresh prince. And may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Right, well... So cold. <laughs> Why am I so cold? <laughs> hmm. Okay, good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. <laughs> yes, master. <laughs> now, slave, you run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the hypnobear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. Yes, master. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Massett has for us today. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective knees. I can't hear you. I'm dead. So, just as a quick reminder, by the way, Sam is wearing an anti-hypnosis hat, and Max... Well, he's Max. You okay, little buddy? I could use a mattress. 
I know I've got a protective device in my head, but did we ever figure out why you can't be hypnotized? It's a mystery, Sam. I attribute it to my superior intellect. Hmm. Do you have a runner-up theory? I've lost so many Q-tips in my ears that they prevent me from hearing the subsonic ranges used in hypnotic suggestions? It's really a toss-up as to which theory is more implausible. Doesn't he have a metal plate in his head? I wish we could use those hypno bears ourselves. Sam, nothing's stopping you. The world's your slimy, malodorous oyster. You know, Max, you're right. Boy, some slimy, malodorous oysters would go great right about now. What do you think I should do? Take out Teddy Bear, and while you're at it, this bear-making machine. Maybe the whole factory. Even dead, you don't lack for ambition, Max. Stay put. I'll work things out. By the way, I'm glad you're not dead. Me too! If being dead is half as boring as pretending to be dead, I'm never gonna do it! Here, here. So let's see here. This is quite a gizmo. Was he standing there the entire time they were having that conversation? Insidious. Nefarious. I think these are the voice gizmos for the insidious hypnotic bears. We can grab the teddy bears. This is quite a gizmo. Indeed it is. You're on fire. Anybody got a screw loose? Caution, this work area may be subject to bombings by rival gangs or raids by the U.S. something. What does that sign up there say? Go back. Gotta read the signs. No, I can't read it. Oh, no smoking. It's a no smoking sign. It probably says something funny in addition to that. Um... But I can't make it out. No smoking, drinking. Something about drinking. Probably says that drinking is encouraged or something. Isn't that cute? I was right about grabbing one of those. Well, that didn't do much. Hey, this isn't even a real fire extinguisher. Huh. Insidious. Comics. I don't much like the funnies these days. They tend not to be. I haven't read the funnies in a long time. Master. What is it, hypnotic slave? Something wrong with the machine? No. Then don't bother me. Hmm. So we got a screwdriver. And a teddy bear. You can't combine items as far as I'm aware. Take the screwdriver to different things. I wouldn't know where to begin. The teddy bear will be used the last, I'm pretty sure. I wouldn't know where to begin. I 
didn't know where to begin. Well, I really don't want to screw that. What about the fire? I really don't want to screw that. No. From what I can tell, the lever's working just fine as it is. Oh, you know, probably can do the one-armed bandit. Oops. That was a thing that fell out. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Oh, this might be interesting. Hold on a sec. Put that in there. Okay, so if I put this frame on what's it in this window letter. Huh, maybe this teddy bear is not the one we want then. Well, just real quick. Oh, you just think you know it all, don't you, Mary Warren? Excuse me, Master. What is it? You will give all your money to Teddy Bear. I will give all my money to Teddy Bear. Rat. I'm sorry, I must have dozed off for a minute. What did you want, slave? Never mind. Okay, yeah, so that teddy bear was actually wrong. This... Aww, isn't that cute. This, on the other hand... Oh, we get to keep both of them. Neat. I know she's married now, but that Kathy is still smoking hot! Oh, master... What is it now, slave? You're on fire! I'm on... I'm on fire! Help! Help! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! <laughs> I'm not sure what we're doing from here. Oh wait, I know what we're doing from here. Help! I'm on fire! Somebody should collect this rubbish. Yep, let's take care of this. There goes nothing. Well, he wasn't on fire before, but he's gonna be now. Nice work, Sam. Thanks, pal. I don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. In fact, look. Um, little help? I can't tell if it's comical or life threatening. Who says they have to be mutually exclusive? I forget. Which color means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me? That's wrong. Nice effect. That's what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jellied lemurs with extra salt. This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. Hmm. A clue of what is going to be coming up in the next episode. But wow, I did not expect to be finishing this this soon. This is only the first episode out of four for this stream.
I like to do an even four per stream. It's, it seems like a good, safe amount, plenty of content without wearing me out. If I go more than four, I'd probably get start getting worn out. But, um, on the bright side, I've already prepared the next episode of this Let's Play. It's a good thing I had a little bit of foresight. I figure, uh, maybe, maybe I'll, uh, get to the next episode in this stream. Maybe after the third or fourth episode of the stream. But, nope. We're already ready to move on. Cool. You know, the really funny thing is that, as far as I can tell, nobody's shown up to the stream yet. So, um... They don't get to find out how this ends. Well, I'm sure they will eventually, but they're going to have to actually take the time to go back and re-watch this episode if they want to find out what happens. Which they can. So I wonder what plan B is going to be. Well, um... We're going to find out, uh, possibly in this very same stream, so before we get moving, I'm going to go ahead and take an episode break. I would like to thank my patrons for being my patrons, including Dre... Da, 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 Dr try it again. Including Ixion and Drew Dracopolis. And, of course, I'm going to give a special thanks to my special sponsor, Lit Dragon. When we come back, it will be episode 4 of Sam and Max, and I forget what episode of this Let's Play.